Windermere, England's largest lake, and the perfect habitat for the European eel. There were once thousands in these waters, but now they're hardly seen here. One of the reasons for their dramatic decline is obstructions like this. Man-made weirs that prevent the immature eels, or elvers, from swimming upstream to the lakes where they spend up to 20 years growing to maturity. Eel numbers in British waters have crashed by 90% in the last four decades. And the construction project at this weir is the latest in a nationwide effort to help the eels complete their journey upstream. This team from the charity The Rivers Trust is building special eel pathways to be added to 10 weirs, dams and flood defences. The aim is to give these tiny creatures a helping hand. Well, what we're looking at here is, uh, this is the downstream section of the eel pass, that will be on the weir. Um, it's obviously on the ground at the moment, but it's actually inclined on the weir. And this is the entrance at the bottom. And what you're looking at is the open section. This would normally have a cover on from top to bottom. And we're looking at this bristleboard inside, this green bristleboard. And uh, the purpose of the bristleboard is it gives the, uh, the eels who move in a sinuous uh, fashion the ability to purchase as they're coming through it. We'll feed some water down here. We'll have some pump water coming down these bristleboards. As they gain entrance from the river at the bottom, they can work their way up through here, through the entire pass when it's constructed and over the top of the crest and into safe water at the top and continue the journey upstream. The project, which is funded by the cooperative, makes the northwest of England the first region in Europe to find and fix the 10 biggest barriers to eel migration in its waterways. We've probably got something like only 5% of the eels. The population is probably only 5% of the size it was in the 1980s. But that's the idea, is to get it back to something like 30-40% of where it was. And that will take decades, so it's the point about starting this process now. Eric Hope has been fishing these waters for more than 20 years. You struggle to avoid catching eels. There were thousands of them. You could find fairly large numbers of elvers climbing up waterfalls, wriggling up the, up the mossy sides, on their way to find food and just to sort of spend the rest of their lives up to breeding point in English waters. But they've all but gone. The eel's life cycle is still something of a mystery. Instinct seems suddenly to drive the adults to embark on a 4,000 mile journey across the Atlantic to their spawning grounds near Bermuda. The hope is that helping them back upstream will have the UK's lakes teeming with eels once again.